Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now, those nice guys and girls at Triumph have just announced a brand new motorcycle for 2021. It's called the Triumph Tiger 850 Sport. If you stick around, stay tuned, I'll tell you what we know about it. Okay, so before we get into all the details of the brand new bike, uh, just something I wanted to show you. Back in the summer, uh, I was very lucky in that I got to ride for about three months uh, the brand new uh, Triumph Tiger 900. I had the uh, GT Pro, fantastic bike, really loved it, but I said this about it. When those electronic bits and pieces, those extra things, I tend to think of those as icing on the cake, you know, cherries on top as it were. And uh, I would buy a bike for its the basic things, does it do the basic things right? Is it comfortable? Does it handle nicely? Does it sound good? Is it a bike that you want to ride? In fact, for me, it would be a better bike if it was, say, two grand cheaper, but didn't have all the electronic bells and whistles. Well, I think Triumph must have been listening because uh, this brand new bike announced today, the uh, 850 Sport, is exactly that. It's a basic version of the Triumph Tiger 900. Even though it's called the 850 Sport, that's just to differentiate the model. It's still got a 900cc engine, but it's got a special, what they call, 850 tune to make the bike a uh, more accessible, easier to ride for people that may be getting into their first big adventure bike. But uh, more importantly than that, uh, it's lower spec than the existing 900s, and that means they can produce the bike much cheaper. This one comes in at £9,300 on the road, an absolute bargain for a Triumph Tiger, the new one. A uh, beautiful bike. Anyway, let's get indoors, let's get to my computer and I'll talk you through the specs and show you some of the pics that uh, Triumph have released. Actually, second thoughts, we can do much better than that. Let's not start with pics, let's start with a marketing video that uh, Triumph have made available to us. Uh, check out this. Okay, so that's all uh, normal stuff, all well and good. Uh, but what about the details of the bike? What's the specification like? Well, I'm glad to say that Triumph have given me early heads up of the spec with this press release. So uh, let me show you some more pictures that uh, Triumph have sent me and I'll talk you through some of the spec while we're showing them. All right, let's fire this up for you so you can be looking at some pretty pictures while I'm talking to you. Okie dokie, there's the new bike then, the uh, 850 Sport. Looks absolutely lovely, I think. And uh, one thing that Triumph have done here is given it some nice new paint schemes. I quite like this red and grey, I have to say. Anyway, while you're watching those pictures, let me talk you through some of the spec from the press release. Some of the highlights I've picked out here is, um, just like the other Tigers, the 900s that we saw earlier in 2020, it's still got that accessible triple engine character with their innovative T-plane triple um, crank. At least that's what uh, Triumph say is. This is this uh, weird 132 two firing order they've got that makes it feel a bit more like a twin. I absolutely loved it when I rode the 900. Uh, this new bike's got that same um, crank apparently. Uh, it's got the same agile and dynamic handling. I love the lightness of the 900 so this bike's going to feel just the same as that. It's got a two year unlimited mileage warranty and 10,000 mile service interval which is pretty good going. Um, it's got um, a dedicated 850 engine setup, so it's got a special tune for the 850 Sport. Uh, it puts out 85 PS at 8,500 RPM, so uh, I would say that's absolutely ample for the road. And in terms of torque, 82 Newton meters at 6,500 RPM. So again, at real world riding, uh, this is going to be absolutely in that sweet spot, I think. It says that it's got the, the perfect combination of responsive power and torque low down. At least that's what the uh, press release says. And uh, also, um, quite importantly, there's an A2 license compliance kit available so if you take the bike you buy it from a dealer uh, and you've not got your full license yet you can get an a2 uh, friendly version which can then be converted to non a2 once you get your full license if that makes sense so it's got high um, spec equipment on it as standard which is great with this bike it's got brembo stylema brakes twin 320 mil discs marzocchi upside down cartridge forks uh, it's got a five inch tft on it it's got road and rain riding modes, uh, it's got all LED lighting, it's got slip and assist clutch adjustable screen, um, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, ABS and switchable traction control, which is very important. Uh, and uh, it says here it's got new contemporary uh, Tiger 850 Sport graphic scheme, so uh, well, we'll see about that. All right, so that's the, uh, that's the headline of the spec. Let's have a look at some of the uh, static pictures that they've sent through. Let's take a closer look at some of the features. Okay then, let's have a look at the first pick here. Okay, so this is the, the seat on the bike. It is adjustable. Uh, and uh, I have to say, I didn't find the bike was particularly uh, tall, but this one comes at the moment. Let's look at the seat height. It is 
810 to 830 millimeters, so adjustable. Uh, looks nice and comfy. Uh, all right, moving on. Uh, there we go, that's the uh, rear caliper, one of those Vibre calipers by the looks of it. Uh, there's the Brembo style lemurs at the front. These are sort of sports bike spec uh, brakes. So absolutely incredible for a bike that's intended to be the basic bike uh, in the range. Uh, next up we can see the triple engine again, doesn't look any different to me on the outside as the one in the existing Targa, but this, as I say, has a special tune for the 850 to make it uh, a little bit easier for maybe the newer rider. Not quite sure how they did that because the 900 was easier to ride anyway, but hey-ho. Uh, next up, another picture of the engine. Here's the exhaust, um, which these days the exhaust never look very good, do they? Because they're, of course, strangled by uh, Euro 5. So, uh, yeah, I think I might want to swap that out for an optional Arrow one if there is such a thing, which there probably is. Uh, fuel cap, lovely attention to detail as ever with the Tiger, uh, sorry, with the Triumph motif on the fuel cap clip there. And again, on the top of the handlebars, uh, it just says Tiger, looks very nice. Here we go, there's a picture of uh, the two uh, colour schemes, the blue and the red that you can get uh, out in the hill somewhere. It looks a bit like Wales. Uh, but yeah, good looking bikes. They look exactly the same, as, the same as the existing 900s, but I would argue with better paint schemes, I'm glad to say. The baggage, by the way, on the blue bike there, that's an optional extra, so you can get um, panniers if you want and top box. And I think there are two types. You can get that sort, or you can get the aluminium uh, Charlie and Ewan type uh, if you want. Here we go, picture of the bike cornering. Very nice, nice looking road. Uh, here we are, one of the bike um, in the town. Uh, would make an ideal commuter, this bike. £9,300, that is an absolute winner. Uh, in comparison, the, um, the big full fat 900, uh, just to give you a heads up, on that clip I showed you earlier, showed you earlier I said if you get a basic bike for a couple of grand cheaper, that would be the one I went for. Well, in this case, it's actually even better than that because the Tiger 900 GT Pro that I was riding, according to the website, cost £12,800. Well, this is actually 3500 cheaper uh, at 9300 on the road. So an absolute bargain of a bike. And again, it's not, it's not like, uh, even though it's um, a much cheaper price, it's not like they've cut down on spec. All right, let's carry on through the pictures. Uh, nice picture of the front view there with that sort of signature um, DRL running light there. I think that looks really cool. Um, cornering, uh, obviously these were done in autumn, very nice indeed. Again, another picture in town. Uh, there's the obligatory through the tunnel shot, very nice. And uh, we'll just whack on through. Here we go, this is the one that I use for the thumbnail. Again, this looks like Wales, isn't it? Again, back in the city. Uh, lovely sunny day, obviously, when they took this. Oh, they got some good lighting because that red really pops, doesn't it? It looks great, great picture that. Uh, and there's the bike without a rider. All right, here's the blue one, and again, picture of that DRL at the front, very nice. Indicators, these are the ones that we've seen on lots of trials before. I've got these very same indicators on my Speed Twin there. They're quite prone to braking, actually. These look like they're, uh, yeah, these are the ones on the back, I think. I've kicked mine with the legs, with my legs on my Speed Twin and broken them loads of times. So if you get one of these, be careful, they're a bit fragile. Rear light looks okay. Um, not sure it needs a tail tidy on the end. Switch gear is the usual Triumph stuff. Uh, unfortunately, look, they've got the joystick on here to control the various bits and pieces through the TFT. On the recently launched Triumph Trident, um, they did away with the um, joystick, which I was chuffed about, and put in actual um, four little switches, a bit more like they do on KTMs, which is a much easier way to control things. But I guess they're leaving that switch gear the same, because that's how it is on the 900. It's parts bin, uh, you know, they don't want to produce different things for this version of the bike. So there we go, that's the switch gear. Uh, the Marzocchi forks, Again, they're not scrimping on spec here. Uh, excellent forks at the front. Uh, and there's uh, as part of the adjuster as well for the rear shop. Uh, brakes on here looks like they're Michelin Anarchy Adventure. Sorry, tyres on here, which uh, again, good good tyres. Uh, mirrors, uh, nothing really to write home about there. They look the same as the ones um, on, well, other tigers. Uh, it's got some sort of a belly pan on there as well to try and tidy things up. Here's the rear seat, um, sorry, the rear foot pegs, which are detachable. Apparently this is something that lots of people requested of Triumph, so you can just uh, take those off and tidy the back end up if you want to. And here's the TFT as well, which uh, actually, I often complain about Triumph TFTs, and they're still not my favourite, but this one looks like it's um, getting a bit more grown up, a bit less um, Fisher Price than the early ones looked. The new logo, uh, denoting 850 Sport. Again, as I say, it is a 900cc bike, just with a different tune. They're calling it an 850 to differentiate it from the other bikes, a bit like in the same way BMW do that with their GS uh, 850 uh, and, and 750, which are the bikes that these are competing with, by the way. Uh, and these bikes, the, the 850 Sport, basically are cheaper than the BMW and has a much better spec as basic. If you start specking up the BMW to meet the same as the basic bike, you're getting into a lot more expense. So Triumph, I think, are playing a blinder with this one. Again, nice fit and finish on here, logo on the front of the bike. Uh, slightly out of focus shot of the TFT. Um, the right handlebar grip, um, the, again, the graphics. 
Oh, and then we're into the video. So, so that's it for the pictures. You anyway, know, I think it looks absolutely great. I'll be very interested to hear what you think uh, of the bike. As I say, it's just this minute been launched. So there'll be loads of videos all about this bike. Huge thanks to Trump for giving me an early heads up uh, of all the details of the bike. I can't wait to have a go on one of these. Uh, as I said in my video earlier, uh, I think sometimes that, you know, the important things about a bike are whether the basics are right. Does it ride nicely? Does it give you a smile? Um, does it go well? Does it stop well, etc. It's not all the icing on the cake, the electronics and so on necessarily. And I think out of all the Tigers, if I were to buy one, I'd probably go for this one. 9,300 quid, that is a great price, I think. So uh, thumbs up from me for the uh, new Triumph Tiger 850 Sport. What do you think? All right, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mr. Dem Fly. Cheerio. Well, I forgot to say in my haste to uh, edit that video and get it out as the embargo lifted, that uh, in fact, this new 850 Sport replaces the basic model of the Tiger 900. Do you remember when the Tiger 900 first came out, there was a basic version of that available uh, that I think was 9,500. I talked about it on my original video. Well, uh, they've now withdrawn that because the 850 uh, is a better spec and cheaper and replaces that. All right, speak to you soon.